哇！ Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, <laughs> I can't make the ching ching. Strong man. Hi, I'm Jerry Gray, and I'm in Gujan. Everybody knows Gujan; it's the city of lights, and there's something special about it. I'm in the village of Liu Feng, which has a very special dragon dance. It takes over 200 people to perform it. I'm going to find out today how the dragon is made and what it's all about. Let's take a closer look. The Yunlong dance is a traditional folk dragon dance that has been passed down for over 300 years in the Liu Fang village, Gujin Town. In 2011, the Yunlong dance in Liu Fang village was successfully included in the third batch of the National Intangible Cultural Heritage List due to its long history, unique appearance, and rich dance skills and tricks. In the past, on the 20th day of the first lunar month, the village of Liu Fang in Gujian would hold a grand ceremony where about 200 young people would go to the ancestral temple and invite the Yunlong dragon to join them in a dance. As dusk fell, the lit candles illuminated the dragon's body, then led by flags and lanterns guided by the dragon ball and accompanied by props such as clouds, carp fish. The Yunlong cloud dragon would set off from Liu Fang village and parade through neighboring villages for three consecutive nights. I can imagine how hard this would be for these guys to go all the way down Xinjiangdao in Zhongshan. It's like a two kilometer walk holding this thing and dancing with it. It would be really difficult. This is uh, 28 jin, which is 14 kilograms. Very heavy. Before I came to China, I didn't know the difference between a dragon dance and a lion dance. I'm learning every day. This is a really, really interesting thing, but I'll tell you what I've got is a whole new respect for the people who do this. This is a very heavy item to carry, and they really do work hard making it, learning how to do it, and then actually performing it. There's a lot of hard work involved. <laughs> 